What's up? We're looking for matches. Then we're going to do a PMC and go into customs and probably die a bunch this stream. But that's okay. I have more than enough gear. I actually probably... You can get to the point in this game if you don't PMC enough that you need to die. So. Topics today are going to be Hellblade 2's length, uh, whether or not Xbox will keep making hardware, uh, and then the, the, the typical Mass Effect and Division 3 chit-chat. So... Feel free to hit me up. Gavin's been tough lately. Um, I think that the PMCs are running into tasks where they need to kill scavs. So you're finding a lot more PMCs are sticking around um, the raids longer instead of just getting in and getting out. And so in the last 15, 10 minutes of each raid, there's still PMCs around. And um, it's made it difficult to be a uh, little scaredy boy. But that's okay. We'll persevere. crappy gun but I actually think I have this is like a good um, good gun for I always hate spawning here I have to turn something down that's stuttery on my side Funny thing is, it looks better on stream than it does on mine. Let's see, what can I fiddle with here? Feels better. Nope. 
They got a hallway behind me. They might be back there. It sure sounded like someone was running around out there, though. What up, Master Prime? I'd normally be more aggressive, but this gun, it's a bolt action shotgun. <laughs> Sounds like someone's creeping like right beside me. Let's see if I'm right, I'm gonna swing this corner. Three stream streak. It's funny when Twitch implements stuff like that, but never tells us. <sighs> yep, I thought there it was. <laughs> I knew there was someone creeping around. Hey, at least I like predicted it right. I just didn't really have the equipment to fight them. Himjimin, Himjimin. doing today master prime <sighs> fine not too bad it is super cold here, so, and the snow that fell the other night has turned into ice, <laughs> so we are just having a chill day, I think. Literally. <laughs> yeah, I got to figure out, I got to change some stuff up with how I'm putting the podcast out. Um, I don't think it's a frequency issue, especially if I'm going to do slightly shorter episodes. Um, I... I mean, it, it pretty consistently is getting 200 to 300 people a week listening still. Um, and if even it's, I just like the way I advertise it now just isn't doing anything. Um, and I just keep doing it because it's what I'm used to doing. Um, but I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> I think is, is the issue I run into. I just don't, um, I, I don't know what to change or what to do differently. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I guess I'll, um, I'll have to fiddle with that in the future, uh, because I don't necessarily need the podcast to be this like hyper successful thing, but it would be nice. Like for me, really, even if I never grew, I would just be happier with it. If there was more interaction with listeners, um, I thought that that Google form would be the big difference. I thought that would actually pull people in from other platforms um, because it's such a central place. Uh, and, and so many people have Gmail or just don't mind filling out that form. I really thought that would improve and increase responses, but it hasn't. It's 
basically just you and YouTubes. <laughs> um, and, and we have, I, it, it's, you know, a few different people lately have used it. Um, but it's still just mostly you two. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know what to do differently. So I'll have to, um, I guess, kind of keep pondering that. Um, it, it's a thing where, like, it's fine. Like, I'm not uh, complaining and I'm not uh, worried about it or anything. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with... Um, with how things are in general, it's just, um, I don't know, it'd just be nice if it was a little more interactive and things like that. So, um, we will, um, well, let's see. All right, so 206 is the water room. Let's see, what else? Let me check something real quick. I need to get a key. get like a car key out of um, room is then two oh five of the big door. I have any of the other keys I would potentially need. I need 114. I don't have that. 203, 303, 220. I don't think I need that. I'm going to double check those. yet have that one yet I scav a lot. <laughs> um, I mostly play when my little one's around, so I have to. Uh, so I have to, you know, I, I I stick with scav, and I'm and I'm gonna be straight up like I'm kind of a wuss. So, <laughs> so that's definitely a part of it. What up, Cage? How you doing? How you doing? 40 PMC, 80 scav raids. I have a lot more than that. <laughs> I have a lot more scav raids than that. I do not. Have, that's, I'll, I'll look. I'll, I'll show my shame. I have 21 PMC raids and 158 scav raids. <laughs> look at this. Look at <laughs> 44, almost 45 million dollar stash. <laughs> I mean, I basically play this game as scav at this point, like, gosh, like four or five wipes ago, a few years ago, I, I was, I would get up to level like 30 somethings, 40 somethings and like really push my PMC and unlock all the traders and do all that. Um, but I just kind of lost the joy of that. Uh, and I still like want to progress my scav. I'm really wanting to get flea market or my PMC, but I just, I'm so sick of the task. And so luckily in the last couple of wipes, they've introduced, you know, new maps and new tasks. So I've been enjoying that a little bit, but in, you know, I've in the last three or four wipes, I've definitely gone to just 
running my scav and then running PMC when I need to, right? Solo PMC, yeah. Definitely tough. You definitely have to play. It's, I've only, I've never played as a team. I played as a, a team one time when I tried to do delivery from the past, the factory part, with a five with, with four other players I found on, I think, the official uh, Discord. We uh, all loaded up, all put on our best gear. We all had the that task ready to go. Uh, so there's five of us. Which means that there's only, I think at the time, I forget what wipe. I think there could only be one more person that would spawn. We spawned in. And the one other player who spawned wiped our entire squad. <laughs> Just obliterated us. Not a single person in the squad got their, um, <laughs> got their task done. Uh... It was so funny. I, I just I was like, nope, okay, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I ended up just doing the night raid and doing it myself. But I want four raids trying to do so. <laughs> yeah. You fight John Wick. Uh, I'm pretty sure all five of us were pretty just mediocre players. And uh, we spawned in a place where uh, we all ran down the hallway, not realizing the player was waiting at the end. And he just wiped us all pretty, pretty bad. It was hilarious. Zero kills and four. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So close to getting my stupid, um, my flea market, but we'll get there. There's a reason why I try to upgrade Intelligence Center. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, speed up that scav. Get that scav case. I haven't even had a scav case. The last three or four wipes, I've only gotten to level, like, maybe 16 or 17. Um, I've enjoyed this. Um, I, I've been... Oh, I meant, like, the... Uh, the the hideout scav thing where you can have them go get stuff for you. Um, I am enjoying this wipe the most in a long time. Like, like probably since the last time I did level up to like, I think I got up to like 44, 45 one time. That's the highest I've ever been. Um, and this is the most I've enjoyed the game since then. So I don't think I'll run it that hard. I'd be, if I get up into the twenties, I'll be happy. Um, by the end of this, we just don't know how long this, um, how long this wipe is going to be. Um, since we knew the last one was six months, but now this one, you know, supposedly, I I'm assuming it's going to be about the same. My guess is it's going to be about six months. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, it's for me, it's basically there's there are some other games I could be playing, but nothing that's like really making me want to stop this for now. Um, and honestly, nothing even coming down the pipe that I'm aware of. But I think they should remove the flea. I don't like that necessarily, um, even though it would probably make the game something truer to what it was meant to be. I think that the flea should unlock in tiers. Um, so I don't know exactly, you know, how you would make like what you would put into each of the tiers, but I think it'd be cool if it opened up into like, you know, fairly quickly you could get like medical items and, you know, maybe like food and drink, you know, in the at level five or something. And then, as you go up level 10, 20, 30, and then like, you know, so you'd have to not only level up your character to get like, you know, max traders and have all that gear, but you'd also have to level up quite a bit to even just buy some of the stuff from high up. Um, I just, I think some of the no lifers would hate that. Um, and what would be really interesting is if that include, cause especially if you couldn't, um, sell stuff at high, those higher tiers until you reach them because then all of those um, all the cheaters and stuff who are like level two and selling like 
250 GPUs at a time because they're clearly cheating. Um, it'd be interesting to see how that would impact them. Um, I assume they would just, you know, cheat to get their levels up, but it would at least be more of a time investment that would maybe dissuade some of them, but who knows? Yes. Yeah, if they made the hideout more viable, that'd be fair. I can see that. Hey, Cage, has there been any, any new Exodus news? I I think I saw them like post one tweet this week. It was just like another one of their lore things. But you're my, uh, you're kind of my Exodus uh, hype person, so I can keep up with it. I don't think I didn't see anything that big, but I could have missed it. If you unlock therapist level two, you get so yeah, yeah. It, it is funny every time I play this. Every time there's a new wipe, I always forget how awful therapist level two is. Completely useless. Um. Hmm. Ideal. Nothing new. Okay. Did reply me on Twitter asking what I do with the characters. Hmm. Doing some of that good marketing. Oh man, I just don't I need to get to dorms. And I don't love any of the ways I can get there. I don't really want to run around back here too much. I'm so scared of someone on the other side of this wall. Bagging me. Let's see. I'm gonna try to actually wrap around and see if maybe I can go there late. But yeah, I wish Therapist 2 was more uh, lucrative. Or just more useful in general. Someone else has a similar idea. Someone's hitting the dorms with, uh, my God, it's so dark in here. Do a little light looting. There's two. I have to start scavenging this now. I didn't realize there's two, uh, weapons cases back here now. And they both <laughs> totaled one rinky dink thing really I just want to get to the point where I can buy this uh, site the monstrum has been my favorite in this game for years Not a lot of people don't like it but it's the perfect one for me hope Microsoft keep making software competition hardware yeah they, they need to I think they will I think a lot of the um
Sam is not very good, but I'll take a whole bunch of it. Yeah, I think they will. I, I think the only way I could see them... I, I could see Microsoft eventually moving to a... Where they sell, like... Basically, like, pre-built PCs. That maybe even have, like, a modified Windows OS on them. Um... They'd be like Xbox PCs. Maybe something that'd be a little um, easier for non-tech people to uh, get into and, and use. Um, for all intents and purposes, even today's consoles are, you know, essentially just, uh, you know, PCs with simplified OSs on them. Um... I assume that even Xbox specifically is using a modified version of um, Windows. It, it, surely it, it has to be. Um, I bet it's actually Windows 10. It wouldn't surprise me if it's even. It could even be an older version, um, like the core of it. But I know, like. I think one of my most frustrating parts of the whole console warrior thing at this point, because I, you know, I express that I have an obvious bias. I'll never deny that. I can't. It's obvious if you listen to my podcast or you know, see the way I treat things. But um, like I appreciate what Sony does, and I think they're important. Man, I hate this. I just hate that no matter which way I'm going. Like, I almost feel like I should just be trying to hunt PMCs. Because they use DirectX. Like, all that shooting is where I'm going. I should have wrapped around through the woods. <laughs> eh, F it. If we die, I have so much gear I don't need it. We can maybe I can get lucky and take a PMC down with me. Yes. Yeah, it's the fact that. And what's especially frustrating about it is that there's there's like normies, right? Like normal people, and I was you know, myself included. Not that I'm one of these people, but someone like me who do it, and and it's like it's just kind of weird, right? But then you have like creators who who do it, and like the majority of these creators who are like hyper console warriors on Twitter and stuff like that, the thing to realize about them is that most of them don't really give a shit. At least, I don't think they do. I think most of them are just playing the game, knowing that, um... It's lucrative, right? Especially as Twitter moved to a model where... You know, you get paid for clicks. You know, Twitter is already a shit show of people, um, baiting. There's someone to my right. If they'll make the first move. Um... And it's only gotten so much worse. Like, there's basically just like a handful of Twitter accounts where, like, all they do is bait engagement over like console war stuff, man. And it's so obnoxious.
Okay. to be coming through everyone looks here I might be hearing my own gear I swear I heard someone else over here but maybe not my kid just yelled downstairs that scared me I'm on the edge. Some people are so disappointed in the game being mostly FPS. I mean, for me, it was a thing of like, like I talked about on the podcast this week about how I think it's kind of funny. Like I've seen some people say like, well, if Xbox starts doing PlayStation style games, so um, third person action adventure, you know, story based games, then people are going to complain. And I'm like. I think that was a scav. Unless it was a um, player doing like setup or something. Outside in the bushes. Shit. the indie game would have been third person that's what I was hoping for um, I think it's fine that it's not though I will say the thing that I, I'm personally kind of disappointed about is seeing that the Hellblade game is only going to be like similar length to the first one. Like in one way, that's fine. The first one, I didn't feel like it was too short. I just wished it was longer, right? Um, I'm gonna do this. 
this, though. Oh, okay. The first one's it was originally on PlayStation. If you happen to have a PlayStation, um, it was it, it was originally a PlayStation exclusive. Then it came uh, multiplat, and now and then uh, Xbox purchased Ninja Theory. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna be making a run across. I need room two hundred six. 205. What do I need? Oh, I already did 206, never mind. I need 205. Oh boy. Percent player. So I heard him switch fire modes. Body. No, where is it? <coughs> Get the guy doing setup out there. That's funny. Assuming that's what the guy was doing in there. Which is a huge bummer. Go on sale. Cool. Yeah. No, it's behind me. <laughs> oh, Master Prime, no. either. Ah, uh, uh, went down. 
not fighting. That's okay. Dang, really wish I would have gotten that stupid key. That's frustrating. Luckily, now all I have to do is extract to get that one mission done. Um, but I'll still need to go back and get that key and such. Oh, he was a player scav too. Nice. So if you get killed by a player scav, it shows their player scav name. So the randomly generated name and then their username. Now it used to only show that. So you were never really positive if it was a player scav or not. Now, you know, for a fact it was, um, it might even let you look. Well, it will let you look at their stats. So this is what his PMC looks like, but this isn't what he was playing as. Um, he doesn't scav that much. So that's cool. I at least put some hits into him, I think. And I got some decent XP from that, just from those. Let's see. I lit up those. Uh, let's see here. Hit count. Yeah, 21 hits. Jeez. So I, let's see, I killed, I killed a de decent number of scabs, but I killed them all relatively quickly. That was probably like 10 or 15 shots. So I put at least, you know, a decent part of that mag into him, but he must have had enough armor. Actually, I didn't hit his armor at all. I did. I didn't do any armor damage. So I just well, he's probably pretty jacked up then. If he's uh, if he's if he's still alive, he's not feeling too good. What did he kill me with? Yeah, AK probably uh, AKM. That's fine. Yeah, he messed me up pretty good. Got lucky and spawned with an auto AK. We'll do a ski of. I have a daily I'm looking for. I just need two matches. It's been so hilariously hard to find, even though when you're not looking for them, I feel like it's all you can find is that kind of stuff. None of myself is coming back. <laughs> I'll never see any of that stuff again. Because even if that guy doesn't take everything, he'll at least take that gun I had in my bag. Because that's a really good one. It's a full auto, like modern AK. Um, he'll take the parts off of my gun. I'll get that Monstrum back. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. Um, is my scav ready? Yeah, let's go try to find my matches. Yeah, that dude's gonna nab most of my stuff. Oh, my Mass Effect, Lithograph, shit. Oh, there you go. Is it like a random one or something? I feel like I remember you talking about that, but I can't remember the details. Uh, sorry, Cage, I missed what you said earlier about people. I think there's people who don't want Xbox to just copy um, Sony when it comes to doing the third person games. And I agree to a point. I think one of the strengths that um, Xbox has, the N7, oh, okay, I gotcha. I think one of the strengths Xbox has is that they have, you know, their first party games are live service games and first person shooters. And, you know, that they have a bigger, I would argue, a bigger variety of genres um, than Sony does. That said, none of their games are as popular as any of the more limited, you know, games that Sony has. So, um, and something I talked about in the podcast this week is about how even myself am very focused on, like, I want Hellblade to be Xbox's God of War. I want, you know, this game to be, you know, I wanted, uh, how about like Perfect Dark to be Xbox's, I don't know whatever game I wanted indie to be Xbox's uncharted like and and I think that I'm starting to realize and I maybe other people need to as well that I don't think Xbox is thinking like that I don't think they're going hey we need a, the last of us it, it kind of like they aren't even trying to do that uh, for better or worse you know that's arguable that's you know everyone's individual opinion on whether that's a good idea or not but um i think that for me it's kind of getting out of that that mind frame of like 
that Xbox is just trying to have their own version of the good things that Sony does because more and more it's starting to seem like that's just not what they're trying to do. Um, and that goes back to something I have talked a lot about and how not just those two companies, but N- Nintendo as well, that, um, but free, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jesus. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Didn't know the bass player, Red Hot Chili Peppers, was locked up, but Free Flea. Ay, 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 ay. We got here. Oh. Okay. Those keys are normally worth a lot. I don't know if that one is, though. Let's see here. Yeah, for some reason this is acting weird. Excellent two seconds in and make one lose. <laughs> to be fair, uh, y'all have been around me enough to know that doesn't take too much. I'm well. How are you? Sure, I'll take that. Why not? Clear this place out. Really sounded like someone was in here. Weird. Enjoy a casual there. There you go. Yeah, we we're still snowed in a little bit. And then it got like super cold. So if we weren't snowed in already, we definitely are now. is over yeah no i saw the um wait, why is it all of a sudden running smooth oh there it goes again um i saw I, I know i saw the post from all the massive folks about that snow they were getting i don't um i don't really have a frame of reference for how the weather moves where y'all are. I don't know if like stuff goes from you to to Sweden. It's um you know I don't uh I'm not up on my uh it was a lot worse in there. Gotcha. My daughter singing downstairs, so she must be having a good time. Oh, she's singing some Annie. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love ya. Tomorrow. Boy. 
This is the kind of too quiet that means I'm probably about to die. Because if there's no, um, if there's no scavs around around like myself, when you are a scav, that probably means that someone just came through and cleared them out, which means they're probably still around. Oh, there's a dead scav back there. Just keep minding our business. Here, uh, fuel temperature went down to five. Oh wow. Oh my god. Of course, I'm. I hear gunshots so close to me when I pick up maybe the most valuable item in the entire game. Well, if there's any cheaters in the lobby, they know I'm here now because they see that I picked that up. <laughs> Run. See, I kind of have to do the opposite. I kind of need to actually probably chill. So for us, like to, when I woke up today, it was six uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, 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 oh, Master Prime. Oh, you're killing me, bro. It was six degrees Fahrenheit here. And then um, the wind chill is about negative 10. So I, you know, however that translates into world units. Is that a fair thing to call it? World units? Ugh. The shooting that happened happened in the back of this building, which is kind of where I need to go. Normal units. I think I think world units is fine. It's it's respectful. Oh, I definitely just heard someone move. Uh, when people turn and their feet move, like if you turn your character enough, their feet shift. And it's a very... Uh -huh. Oh, there's a cheater. That's a cheater shooting at me through a wall. But you can't, he's using his software, isn't showing them there's a wall in front of it. So someone's about to walk out and just murder me as soon as I move. It's a very distinct sound when you're getting shot directly at. I, I did hear another shot, so maybe someone was overshooting and it was just landing near me. But that really sounded like someone shooting at me, but hitting a wall and not realizing it. Someone's walking. Yep, they're to my right. It's got to be a PMC because a scav wouldn't be so slow. Yep. It's. I was watching Shroud play this the other day. He knew I was there. That dude was 100% cheating. Because I think that was the guy who was shooting at me. Let's see if I hit him. Because the way he was leaning and coming around that corner, exactly where I was, and I didn't make any noise, and I was kneeled down, and I had my speed on my walking as slow as possible. And there's a bug right now that when you're in that position, you don't make any noise. And so the only way he could have known I was exactly, that he could have heard me run, or he maybe even saw me run, um, but the, yeah, the only way he knew I was exactly there 
was, I think, if he was cheating. Let me see his uh, stats. So at the beginning of the wipe, you could tell if someone was cheating because they would have like a like 50 KD. So every time they had died, um, they will have, um, you know, they would have like a ton of kills because they're cheating. So they're killing everything as soon as they see it. Um, I'm, I'm going to report him. I think he was cheating. I don't think he knew where, I don't think he should have known where I was. Uh, but yeah, the, the cheating thing is, is, uh, is a reality in this game. Um, you kind of just have to accept that it's a thing. Um, it, it, cause if you don't, you'll, it'll drive you crazy. You'll just uninstall. Um, the problem is that it's getting to the point in, uh, what up, job, job. It's getting to the point in any competitive, even lightly, com like this game isn't really competitive, right? It's, uh, it's just punishing. Um, it, it seems like with, with games now, you just kind of have to, um, you kind of just have to accept Did I hit him. Oh man, I didn't even hit him. I thought I did. Um, you just have to accept death. You know, you have to accept cheaters. Um, you, you have to just, you know, it's just, and what's crazy is that, you know, there's always been cheaters in online games. It's always been a thing. It's obviously gotten a lot more sophisticated. Uh, and maybe that person wasn't cheating. Maybe I did do something to give myself away. It's absolutely possible. But what's wild is, I don't know if you guys saw anything from CES, um, 20 days, so that's that's how long the current wipe has been. Um, here, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you what it means. So if you go into mine, um, you go into overall. So so the wipe happened 24 days ago. So this this account, after they've done a wipe, my account's 24 days old. So that means that guy started playing four days after the wipe happened. It was like right after Christmas. Um, the online is how long you've been logged in to your account and had the game open since you got the game. Um, to be very clear, um, that hour, I would say almost half of that is idling. <laughs> so I've probably paid, played this game a couple thousand hours over what well, it's been maybe four years now. Um, so a lot, I mean, I played this game, I've played this game a lot. Uh, but that, that number probably is a little bit misleading. Um, let's see here. I need two pistol kills. I need to do some stuff in, let's see, what can I get rid of? I, I don't need either of those things. So let's stick these down here. I need two, um, PMC pistol kills. And I need to place these things on the factory map. Let me see. Elimination. Scav of a headshot more than 10 meters. I'm surprised none of those counted. How? Oh, I have to do on the interchange. Okay. I was going to say, there's no way. Um, so, yeah, I mean, maybe that guy wasn't cheating. I don't know. The problem is that people have found like you would you would assume cheating accounts would have a low number of hours have only played you know this wipe because they've been banned before right uh but there's been pretty well documented instances of people who were definitely 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 cheating um who also who had like 2000 hours so that means that maybe they played the game legit for years and then just got sick of it and started cheating but maybe not maybe they've been cheating the whole time and just never got caught so uh, the Tarkov subreddit, it's been really funny though, because it's been just endless people just being like, Hey, do you guys think this is a cheater? Do you guys think this is a cheater? Like the, the whole subreddit has just turned into like a cheating, um, a, uh, a, a cheating, uh, witch hunt. And it's, I mean, it's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. I just kind of can't be bothered enough to get upset about it. It is what it is. Right, so let's see. We're gonna do factory. I'm gonna throw a flashlight on here so I can try the. I'm gonna look. Let's see here. How are you, Jub Jub? 
uh, what's new, what's happening. Is anyone playing anything interesting this weekend? I am curious. Let me know. Nothing interesting. Just the SO. There you go. <laughs> it's the best armor I can buy. Oh, I can buy that now. That's cool. <clears throat> Throw that on. Hat. Glasses. Rig. Um. Baby backpack. Wait, who sells it? Is it you? Yeah, baby backpack. I need two mags. Remember, those must be new. Mm -hmm. Should be able to buy these somewhere, right? What a boy, how you doing, man? Still trying to finish all those gate three diesel feeds. How many hours there are you at? My actual two playthroughs, I think we're both around like 70. But then, like, I think a lot of other people, I had like, I started like 10 playthroughs total, probably, where I got a little bit into it and realized I didn't like the build I had. And so I like backed out and did something different. Um,. I just want to do straight up PST. I think I will. Yeah. Chamber. 200. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is that one playthrough? See, I don't even know how I would play that game that much. Like one playthrough. Unless you're just like, I guess you're just like really taking your time. Like really... You know, exploring every nook and cranny. I could see that. But even my my second playthrough was basically 100%. Um, you talked, okay, cool. Hey, you're experiencing the game 100%. That's, that's what they want, you know? That's great. Good Lord. <laughs> you are getting your money's worth, which is awesome. Okay, do I need anything else? Do I look the part? Ooh, actually, that looks pretty cool. Let's do that. It's all about the look, right? Um, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna bring ammo, but I'm gonna bring a big stack of crappy ammo. I gotta bring the worst ammo. This ammo's actually okay. I need the empty mags before I reload. And if I'm reloading, then I must be doing okay. Some of the extra stuff I had. Uh, no, I got that in there. Here we go. Uh, Love experience at this point. It depends on this. Yep. I FOMO on games. Gotcha. I, I don't even think that they're not full. I, I don't even know how to explain it. But with Baldur's Gate, and I think maybe you would agree, maybe not. It's possible. Um, Act 3 just feels, it just feels different. And, and, and especially, or and Act 2 to a point it's just act one so obviously got three years of love, we got like three years of attention and, uh, and, and molding and, and making it 
I mean, like, perfect. Like, Act 1 of Baldur's Gate 3 is is almost perfect, if it's not, right? And what I assume happened is the lessons they were getting, you know, the, the things that they were being told directly by their community about that act, um, they then, you know, said, okay, well, then we'll apply those lessons to 2 and 3, which improved 2 and 3 as well. But without people's, like, hands-on direct interaction with those, there's just some things that just don't feel quite as refined. Um, if that makes sense. I don't know. Actually, I can buy... Let me just buy a med kit. So I don't have to go to my bag if I don't have to. Okay, four or five. I guess I'll throw a, let's throw a grenade in there. The problem with this map is I could just spawn and die. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the reality of the map I'm about to go into. I am gonna do a night uh, run. Let's see here. Can I replace? <laughs> <Nope. laughs> Actually, decent armor for its price. So what I'm trying. There's two spots in this map where I need to put those in it. I have to do two of them, so I won't even accomplish the whole thing if I don't, uh, see, I still have to extract from customs, don't I? Yep. That's fine. I still need that key. Okay. Um, this should be good enough. Oh, I need heal. What do I have? A broken leg and that. Okay. Oh, that just does everything. I didn't realize it would heal my break. Cool. Let's do factory. Let's do... I, I think I'll be able to see enough to get around. There is a slight possibility. Um, I won't be able to see enough at all to play at all. So let's see what happens. Are you planning on playing the original Stalker? Nah, I've watched. So I've watched um, actually some Tarkov streamers play that, like the heavily modified versions of it um, in the past. And that game to me is one that definitely, um, maybe I'll get that. Maybe you won't though, Jub Jub. Like, I, I just, I think Act 2 and 3 are fine. I think they're good. I enjoyed both of them. I thought the original ending was a little weak, but and I haven't done the new epilogue yet um so it sounds like that is cool um but 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 the the first act of Baldur's Gate 3 is just like one of the most refined things I've ever played in a game where two and three just you know don't they just didn't get the same love and I think it shows a little but not enough to matter um but yeah the, the old the, that original stalker is just so out of date now it, like I think if you played it when it came out and when it was like new the nostalgia of it can keep you like, oh, okay, yeah, I like this. This is cool. Um, I, I don't think for someone like me getting into it now would make it hard. Um, so Game of the Year is more for act. No, I think it's the whole experience made Baldur's Gate 3 a uh, game of the year. Um, but I think, I think Act 1 especially does. Um, like Act 2 and 3 are still better than most games. I think is a fair thing to say. Um, it's just act one is like a masterpiece in, in, in a lot of ways, both gameplay and character development and story. And it's just Baldur's Gate three is a very unique game. It's we're I think we're lucky to have it. If that doesn't sound too, um, too over the top. I'm probably going to do this and then do one more scav run and then I'll probably be done. And who knows how long either of those will last. But the wifey's had the little one for a while. I did some YouTube stuff before I uh, jumped on stream. So eat the map. I kind of know this map decently. See how dark it is. I 
I need to place this. Please don't come down this hallway. And don't look. If I can get this off, it's all I care about. Otherwise, I'm just gonna run and try to kill people. the thing that I need to do so I'm okay it's fine I hit him at least a few times though he was he had quite the advantage there with a full auto gun while I'm plinking at him I hit him I did a lot of damage to him too that's funny game on gamers <laughs> two more rounds however long it takes what's funny is I had um When he so he stopped to reload, I'm pretty sure I panic reloaded and I probably still had like four or five rounds left. I could have just gone right at him, gone around the corner while he was reloading and just shot him in the head. So I I wish I would have been a little more aggressive there. I uh, it's the the joke is the the Call of Duty reload when you um when you reload way before you need to in games because in Call of Duty you reload in like one second right. In a game like this, depending on the weapon you're using, it takes, you know, like that. If you saw, it took me, you know, four or five seconds to reload, and uh, it wasn't very effective. So, that's fine. No problem here. I'm good. Getting that done was all I needed. So, we'll do a scav, and then we'll... Um, We'll jump in. And Bori, sorry, I missed uh, before. Uh, I want to thank you for streaming Mass Effect because I would not have used any of these mods. Yep. yep. Yes. Modded. Um, make sure that counted. Who's that for? Is it you? Yes. Cool. So I just need to do the other one and then I'll have that one done. And once I, I have a bunch of these that are kind of getting like half done, I need to just extract from customs. I'll get one done, extract from here. We'll get this one done. I'll be 6,000. I'll be extremely close to getting um, that done. Oh, let's heal him. You get XP for healing, so that's why I do it this way. See how far away am I? 14,000. Yeah, I, I'm not going to get it done today like I wish, but I always noticed that in the division when I was playing a directive, it empties your mag. You're reloading because it's done. We're not bullets fast, yeah. <laughs> well, what I like about the division, what the division surprisingly does extremely well, is there's a there's a fast and a slow reload in the division, if you've ever noticed it. And the difference is whether or not you run your magazine completely out of the bullets or not. Um, because you know I don't know how familiar you, familiar you are all with guns, but it matters in this game too. But it um, so with a with a gun with a magazine, um, you um, so you have you know at least in this situation, you have one bullet in the in the chamber ready to fire, and then all the bullets in the magazine. So if you run your magazine completely dry, that means that there's no round in the chamber. So you take out the magazine, you put a new one in that's full of rounds, um, but then you need to hit something to put a round in the chamber, and that takes extra time. Um, that's why, like, in, in the division, if you reload from empty and then reload again, it puts more one more round in. What's up, Joes? You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, I'll be down in, like, ten minutes, probably. You have a phone with mommy? You're, you're what? You're gonna change? Oh boy. Boom, D3, they don't uh, make those big boxy mags. They just look weird. I hope that they, uh, so they're real. Those mags are real. Um, the, like they're in this game. I can actually show one to you. Um, the problem is in, uh, so in real life, those those magazines are 
super super unreliable they 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 jam up really easy. Uh, the rounds are all trying to funnel the the way that they're set up it's just not very good it's it's basically two magazines molded together and it just doesn't they don't, they don't work very well i know like, okay i got gotcha. you yeah but uh, i mean so i don't mind them i just wish they had bigger negatives um because even in this game you can use really big mags and there's rarely any big uh, consequence to it okay we're looking for matches <laughs> I just need a good spawn. Let's see if it happens. Oh, okay. Sounds like a mystery. I used to have it in early TD. <laughs> yeah, we're safe. It's just been uh, it's really cold. We got some good snow that kind of. Ooh. Hey, Mr. Sandman. Oh, hello. Look at this guy. Something's creeping. AI. <laughs> what? How's it so warm? Isn't the whole world in winter just like America? What's a hemisphere? You know, one of the things having uh, so many people, I would almost say a majority of people who um, show up to the stream, the international to me, um, one of the things that makes me so nervous is that uh, to like, is to be like the American stereotype. <laughs> and it's just like a thing of like, oh, look at this American monkey. Look, dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> be the... Be the monkey we, we expect. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Please don't dance. No one wants me to dance. This site's really good, by the way. There we go. There's the glass I like. Look at that drip. Okay, do you need help? Okay, stay over there. Don't. Wants to show you her dress. But Here, back up a little bit. Here, back up. Go over there. 
<laughs> Can you spin? <laughs> Very cute. You gonna, you gonna go find the necklace? No. Bye bye. <laughs> She's gonna come back. Don't worry. is awesome. My pride and joy. He uh, wanted to come show off, so I'll show you that clip later. He's fine. It's all good. I'm about done. You're trying to put the bow on? You know, you, you know, you need mommy to help you with that. I'm all thumbs with that stuff. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Here, stand like right there. There you go. Turn <laughs> back. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't tell him everything about us. <laughs> Man. For real, though. So that's her. For anyone who's been around since my division days, you may realize that that's the baby I had four years ago. <laughs> Just now a little sassy lady. What? <laughs> yeah, she's about to read off our address, which I, you know, y'all are lovely, but oh no. If you guys ever wonder why I'm uh, okay to not be around sometimes, it's because I'm spending time with that. And y'all are lovely, but she's pretty cool. Yeah, she'll be five this year, man. It's crazy. Will that fit? 
Hey, nice. Yeah, this is one of those raids that it's like too quiet. <laughs> I haven't heard any gunshots. Little Bo Peep, yeah. Boy, like, as much as I would love to just, like, dedicate tons and tons of time to this stuff all the time, it's just, it's often, like, <sighs> no, I love, I like that, um, that command for Bond Bot, because I, I, I love, basically anything you all can do that triggers an, like, an extra interaction, I've always felt like, I don't know, like, whenever I'm viewing streams, um, especially a smaller streamer like me, where we may not have a ton of people in chat. I feel like anything like that where you are getting some like feedback just feels good. So yeah, so yes, Bonbot does agree. That's why I have a bunch of stuff like that. That's why like I think even if I do like if I do I think even if you do LOL, it does it, yeah. Like stuff like that. Maybe it's just me. But I always felt like that, um I always liked little features like that in uh streamers chats. Yeah. Well, you just feel like you're um, being noticed, even if it's by the bot. Like, for me, it's like, I think if you see that a streamer put that kind of stuff in, <laughs> if a streamer put that kind of stuff in, they were, like, thinking about their viewers, you know? And that people like to be acknowledged, even if it's automatically. Man. There is a five-man group of PMCs just waiting around one of these corners. Cause I still haven't heard a gunshot yet. That's weird. Cause you in this game, especially when you're a scav, if you're not looking for fighting, you know you can use gunshots as like, okay, I'm gonna not, I'm going to avoid going that direction, or I may wait before I go over there for the whoever that is to clear out. But then in a situation like this where you haven't heard anything, it's uh. It's tougher because you have like no feedback, so. If I find someone, this is the place that it may happen. Those streamers always take the time to get to know people, yep. That's really cool. Yeah. That's why, like, I've always joked, like, obviously I would love to have, you know, hundreds of viewers and stuff like that. I, I genuinely do feel, though, that I don't think I would ever want more than, like, maybe a hundred people watching at any given time. Because you hit a point where, like, you know, like, the only time streamers, like, acknowledge the people who are watching are when they pay and like that's fine there's nothing wrong with like text to speak and um you know people gifting or you know doing like the super chats and all that stuff and and to a point you know you get so big that that's the only way you can enter you know that's it's the only way it's realistic to do it um but i just feel like you know that's the point that you kind of lose something Especially doing it as like a hobby, you know, obviously if I was trying to make my living this way, I would want, um, I would want as many viewers as I can get, right? But I think when you're doing this kind of how I do it, where it's supplementary, where like the podcast and the YouTube are kind of more of my focus and, um, I think you start to appreciate, um, I, I think you, you start to appreciate, you know, having, you know, something like where we're at right now, where, I don't know, we might have five or ten people hanging out. Um, and there's a big difference between a streamer who has a hundred people watching and three people chatting and, and with someone like us who, you know, we might have 10 or 15 people watching and 10 people chatting. Um, you know, monetization wise, you know, you would rather have more people because, you know, the lurkers and stuff will still you know, give ad revenue and, and things like that. Oh, I hate seeing that. 
the idea of just a random backpack sitting out there. Do I take the bait? I'm about to get shot. I just don't know why you drop a backpack right there. And you see it fairly often. So, I'm just trying to think of ways to basically make all of my stuff more efficient and more, like, clickable to people. So I was talking to Master Prime about the podcast and that he said, um, you know, I, you know, I was the only person who submitted questions again, which that's been the case for quite a while. Um, and that's fine. But it is, like, frustrating for me that I just... You know, there are still a decent number of people listening to the podcast. Um, but I just don't know how to, like, drag those people out of the shadows and get people to interact more. Um, it's weird. I don't know. I don't know what to do. And even more so, how to attract new viewer, new listeners or viewers or whatever. Um, well, it's like an age old question, I guess. ammo see if it's any oh that's really good ammo i can do it <laughs> It's, it's louder because I put on headphones. It amplifies sound. So if it's suddenly louder, that's why. Oh, no, I hate that. Oh, no, someone called in an, air, uh, an airdrop. That's what that was. That was not a gunshot. One thing I noticed, usually the title in your podcast doesn't show how many subjects you talk about. Uh, is in the description, but not on... Uh, let's see, usually the title when you're, um, I mean, so the title, I, I've always just like editorialized it basically like at least like no, like one thing I'm going to talk about. Um, if the suggestion is that I change the titles up. suggestion to possibly figure out a way to um okay maybe have a thing where i like in the title try to find a way to like maybe name off the like top two or three things i'm going to be talking about rather than trying to have some like creative title that's fine with me i feel like most of my titles kind of suck anyways so <laughs> it's not for me you know Just, just give me matches. Uh, sorry, look at this. Seriously, the, like the most common item that you find everywhere. It's like this game knows, I swear. Uses like voice recognition or something. To just know what items you're looking for. And it like intentionally doesn't put them in the game when you're there. <laughs> but yeah, that does make sense, Jump Joe. That's definitely a thing I can uh, try to figure out how to implement. Oh, there's someone like right beside me. 
These be nice. It's just a kidding. Okay, cool. Let's someone down beneath. Shooting out by the exit is not what you want to hear. <laughs> not ideal. Got a couple more things here, then we are sprinting out. Я все толкнул и стрип бар. Ништяк, пацаны, сегодня кайфуем. Ништяк, пацаны, сегодня мы кайфуем. Что, блин? О, пиздарики на вас запускались. So he's got a big fat backpack, so he's probably got a bunch of good stuff in there. So hopefully he won't be a D-bag. Two matches though. You looking for anything? I got like a power supply on me. Do you need that? Um, I was just looking for matches actually. No matches. All good. Were you looking for something? Yeah, I was looking for a shitty ass rig for a daily for Ragman, and I found one. So. Oh, cool. good luck, man. Su Thank you. Su success later. Well, new podcast is up. Uh, let's go check it out. Um, did I update this stuff? Yeah, I did. Cool. Uh, oh, you can also do it over on the YouTube. Um, I'm trying to get the episodes down to 30 or 40 minutes, which I've been successful so far. And I'm trying to do something similar with the videos, both so I can make more. And so I'm not spending as much time like droning on like I know I can. Um, so, and then I will kind of take like a uh, time to, you know, do longer episodes or longer videos when it uh, feels like justified, right? Um, so, you know, be on the lookout for that. Uh, um, otherwise, uh, that's that's gonna be it for me. I'm, I hope you all enjoyed your um, your time with my daughter showing off, and um, 
uh, that was probably the highlight of the stream, I have to imagine. So uh, Nero, Jub Jub, Cage, Master Prime, Bori, uh, and whoever else might be lurking and hanging out or watching this VOD later on. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And uh, be sure to check out all my other stuff. And if you have any ideas or thoughts about my podcast, YouTube, here on Twitch, uh, or just in general about things I could be doing better or different, please let me know. Uh, you can let me know in DMs or in my Discord or, uh, you know, whatever. You can uh, send Carrier Pigeon. I don't know. Anyways, have a nice rest of your weekend, and I uh, will see you next time. Bye-bye.